Good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Also, welcome back to Vlogmas and it is day two. It's currently 7am on the 2nd of December, which means my Courtney's Hub app launches in two hours. Two hours. The nerves haven't hit me yet and I think it's because I'm half asleep. But if I think about it hard enough, then I start having like, my heart starts going like this. So let's just not think about it that much right now. I need to do my skincare. I feel like a common theme this Vlogmas is going to be me complaining about my skin, to be honest. I'm getting pretty irritated around that little eye, guys. I just hate it. Like every day I come to the mirror and I think to myself, oh, I wonder if it's going to be better this morning. Now we have more active spots. Be <sighs> said. Be zen, be zen, Courtney. There's nothing I can do about it, clearly. <laughs> and I've just got to hope that it'll get better soon, to be honest. I don't cleanse in the morning because if I was supposedly stripped my skin, you should limit the amount of times you cleanse because you could be stripping it further. Your skin produces its natural oils throughout the night and you shouldn't take them off in the morning basically I also am going to get my eyebrows done either tomorrow or Thursday which I'm so excited for because getting my eyebrows done always makes me feel so much better for some reason they just really make your face I feel I really need to order my glasses online I went, I don't know if I mentioned it to you but on what day was it? One day last week, or well maybe it was the weekend, I went and got an eye test. The last time I had one was in high school and they did give me glasses then. But I just, I think I lost them and then never wore them again. And it's not like I, well, I thought it's not like I couldn't see. But last year when it was Jacob's show, I remember me and Meg were in the crowd watching and the bikini girls were on and one of the bikini girls were out and she had like really gorgeous red hair and Meg was like oh my gosh her face is so pretty and I remember and I turned to her and I was like really? <laughs> Not saying she wasn't pretty it was the fact that I couldn't see her face like I was just like can you really see that far? and she was like I'll try my glasses the way the way it was high def I could see everything. I could see her nose, cheek dimples, her nose, her eyes, her makeup, like everything. I could see everything. And that was a realisation. That was when I first should have gone to the opticians. Then over the past year, especially, I don't really drive that much because Jacob drives mostly. But driving at night, guys, 
it's like blind leading the blind like i cannot see it's just one big blob of lights it's darkness and blobs of lights so i've noticed that and then them two i can deal with because like i can see long distance it's not like i can't see it's not like it's like fully blurred but it's just like the clarity is not there and then driving at night i don't really drive that much like i just said so it's not really stopping me majorly but as of recent guys it's getting to the evening like even last night every night it's getting to the evening when i've had a busy work day where i've been on my phone a lot or i've been editing and really really concentrating or straining my eyes in a concentrating task i have the biggest headache so that was the main trigger that i wanted to book the eye test for and yeah i need some glasses so i think my left eye is worse than my right eye i think this is like minus 0 0.25 I think that's it, which is like hardly anything. And then my left eye is minus one. So she just said, definitely wear them at night, definitely wear them when I'm like really concentrating. So to me, that's like when I'm editing a video or when I'm editing a YouTube video, when I'm gonna be on the laptop doing admin for a long time, wear them then. Um, and she said, basically just said, you can wear them whenever. So yeah, I need to order some. I did try some on and I, I tried on a really nice pair of like Tom Ford glasses they're like £260 and off the bat I don't trust myself to keep a £260 pair of glasses safe so what I'm gonna do I, f I really wanted a red pair of glasses really I just I don't know red is the colour of the season I just thought for Christmas how cute a little red pair of glasses um, couldn't find any anywhere found some online at vision express they're 25 pounds guys best believe straight in my basket so the plan is if i can keep them safe over winter then in the new year i will purchase the tom ford ones the tom ford ones i can get blue light lenses fitted as well so that makes it even better because obviously i spend a lot of time on my phone but yeah that's a little bit of an update this morning let me put some moisturizer on my chin feels angry at me today and i'm not doing anything wrong chin i'm really not let's put some makeup on my face i've realized that i've been really like for a while now doing my makeup wrong not wrong but it's just not been looking right on my face and yesterday I did like really really minimal makeup and I felt like I looked so much better my spots were showing a lot more but I just don't suit really really high coverage makeup I've discovered there's not really much I can do with these eyebrows because they are so bushy right now this eyebrow gel is the got to be glued brow gel supposedly the actual just got to be got to be hair gel i've so many people use that the makeup artist uh, nicola honor well she's a makeup artist sometimes they just have different muas in all the time she uses just the hair gel and her eyebrows always look really good so i do need to try it it's just my eyebrows are so bushy right now so what i've been doing is just mixing my drunk elephant bronzing drops with just moisturizer and kind of using that as a foundation of sorts it just makes me a bit bronzier i really want to go away in the new year both my best friends are going to dubai on separate holidays in feb not at the same time uh, Chloe goes at the begin beginning of February and Grace goes in the middle of February. You all know I absolutely love Dubai. Ideally, we, we wasn't planning on going away because it'll be Jacob's start of prep. He'll be like four weeks into prep by Feb. But Dubai is very, very prep friendly in the sense of the gyms are unbelievable. He would go to the news. And then he can either get meal prep done out there or we, we would get an Airbnb anyway, like we've done previously. 
if you don't know me and Jacob lived in Dubai for like three months in 2021 and then since we've just been on like two week holidays I say this but like I didn't love it when we lived there in 2021 but I really do think in hindsight that was because it was during Covid like we went during Covid and lived there during Covid Jacob was modeling out there for an agency so he was like out doing stuff all day i was extremely homesick the entire time i think it was with covid going on in the world to be honest and then because it was covid you couldn't really go out properly there um or you needed like vaccine things when you went around or when you went out so one i didn't know anyone and two we didn't meet meet anyone because nobody was doing anything like we weren't going out and about we weren't uh, there was no, no events on when we were there, not that we would have been like partying, but yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I came back being like, hmm, I just don't know if I could live there because I don't know, but then again, it wasn't a normal time to live there. I do really, really love it though. But yeah, what I was going to say is if we didn't have the dogs, we would probably move there. Another reason Dubai is really, really good is because it's tax free. And in comparison to this country, that is insane. Insane. I've just got in with my Chanel bronzer. And then now, in between the areas that have bronze, I'm using my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, which is quite pale. I'm gonna add one drop of my bronzing drops as well. Mix that together and then just use my stippling brush to go over my face. And really guys, that's all I do. But it just gives me some light coverage, but it makes me look bronzy. You can't really see because the light of my mirror is so bright. Now blush, I use the nude sticks in the nude blush. I've had this for so so long guys it lasts forever again i'm just using that same stippling brush on the high points of my cheeks right now from here i just need to do a tiny bit of concealing of my chin jacob's getting up i made him sleep in the spare room last night because um he's not been getting the best sleep like at all like i think he had like three hours the night before last and I knew I was like setting my alarm for six this morning. So I was like, babe, you need to have at least attempt to have a lie in, which is really difficult for him. Like I can lie until like nine, ten o'clock quite easily. Him on the other hand, it's what, half seven. I've told him to have an a lie in and he's getting up. Um so I was like, babe, sleep in the spare room and try and get a good night's sleep. Now I'm gonna use my two faced powder just to literally dust over the areas that I've concealed. Then I'm gonna use my Dior blush. Go over my blush. See my eyebrows are already unstick, unstuck. Down. Not ideal. Then for lip liner, this is my go-to lip liner. In the shade Comes Naturally. It's like a nudie pink. I might even put a smidge of eyeshadow on today. In like as a little eyeshadow wing. Just gives it a bit of something. And finally, the mascara. I really need to organise this makeup drawer. And using a skin tint, I just feel like I look so much better than using foundation. Like I can't believe I've been using foundation for months. It's just too high coverage for me, even though I want to be covered my skin right now. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. Know 
but he alive Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass Let a nigga know that he arrived Don't be sleeping on your lover Cause there's beauty in the struggle, nigga There's beauty in the struggle, nigga Beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me mama please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine on the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way Guys, it's a little while later, but I was busy doing the announcement, launching the app. Thank you so, so, so much to everyone who has already signed up and joined the Courtney's Hub app. I am overwhelmed by the amount, the amount of you who have done so. If you have, please, please, please tag me in your stories using the app and also tag me in your stories using the planner because I know you're going to love that. And yeah, it's just been a lot. You know when when something's been built up for so long that you're finally there and all you want to do is cry? That has been me this past 24 hours, to be honest. But I'm fine now. On the other hand though, I'm absolutely starving. I've not eaten anything yet and it's like 12 p.m. And I wanna make myself some food. So in the Dubai supermarkets, they have the Quaker Oats variety pack. I'll leave the picture on the screen right now. You can't get it here unless you order it on like Amazon for like 40 pound a box. And of course I'm not paying that. But they have this variety pack which has maple and brown sugar oats, apple and cinnamon oats and then another flavor but every single one of them is like chef's kiss like so so tasty but you can't get them here so i said to jacob the other day i really want to remake the maple and brown sugar ones so i had them the other day they were really yummy and sweet but they didn't taste maple enough so i think i need more syrup and less brown sugar so i'm gonna have i think 80 grams of oats that'll do i don't think i've got any milk eh? so i'm gonna have to have water i feel like i need more water than that i put it on like a medium to low heat to be honest yeah i think i need some more water right i'm gonna let them simmer for like a couple of minutes and then we'll go in with our maple syrup and brown sugar. The other day I did one teaspoon of light brown sugar and one teaspoon of dark brown sugar and then a tablespoon of syrup. And it wasn't too sweet, but that was for me. Some people can just literally put, you know, nothing in there. Now, a tiny bit of light brown sugar. Ow. Cinnamon. It's because it's with water. No. I used to have my oats with water when I was cutting. Last year. How did I do that? It tastes like ass. Is that a worm? Is that a mealworm? Is that a mealworm? <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure there's a fucking... What are they called? Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so gonna throw up. Ugh. Guys, can you see that? Is that a worm? Have I just eaten a worm? 
Guys, I think that genuinely is a worm. Okay. Well, we're not eating then. What am I gonna eat now, dogs? What's gonna happen now? What am I gonna eat now? Oh. Well then, we're not having that. I think that's just a sign for me to go and get something to eat out. And I need to go and get some sets and I wanna go for a walk. So, potentially, we'll go into town and go for a walk into town and get something. I've made my post for Instagram for the announcement today. Money talks, dirty cash, I'm on a so I've already done that, so that's done for today. <sighs> Jacob took a look at the oats when he got back and he doesn't think. I don't think it was magnet. What was it then? It wasn't magnet though. What was it? Yeah, I, I, I actually it. called it a meal worm. On the. <laughs> I don't think it was alive, didn't I? I looked at it. Didn't it look like a meal one? It looked like the shape, it was the same shape, yeah. It wasn't that. It could have easily been that though, because what, it, it could have just, yeah, it could have just been in the oats bag. Yeah, what happened to it though? What? It didn't look like one though, even like it would, if it was dried out, it didn't have a face on it. it. Made me feel a bit sicky. Still not eating though. So now we're going to make ourselves some lunch, and we've got steaks in. So steaks it is. Are we gonna have steak and I want steak and chips? Like homemade chips then. I don't I'm am I cooking the steak? Yeah. Okay, I don't need to cook it yet though, do I? Let's go. I find why give you why you need me. I know what you like. I really for me. because the broccoli seems to have a little bit of fur on it. So we need to go food shopping. I'm gonna eat this whilst watching a movie. What movie do you wanna watch? Oh, I'm gonna try a chip. Mmm! Mmm! It's a while later, did we watch a film? No. Nope. What did you do instead? In gym. No. What? We just watched sitcoms and scrolled on my phone. Today has been a bad momentum day. 
it was rest day. I didn't train today because my legs from that session, the session that was in today's vlog, the little clips of it, were actually from yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday. From yesterday. Because I trained in that outfit yesterday. The way my legs are so sore. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was Saturday. No, it wasn't. Was it? I don't know. It was three weeks ago. <sighs> no, it was either yesterday or the day before. My legs are so sore, guys. Like, I genuinely can't sit down. I'm supposed to train tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage it, to be honest. Um, you got it. But yeah, because of that, I didn't train today. It was... It was my rest day anyways. Back to training tomorrow. But yeah, guys, I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please, please, please like and subscribe down below. Also, comment below if you signed up to the Courtney's Hub app. Remember to use the code MOMENTUM. You get £5 off your first month. So instead of being £29.99, it's £24.99. Plus, you get your free Notion template called the Courtney's Hub Planner in with that as well. So yeah, let me know if you sign up it's a steal guys it's a steal and i will see you all tomorrow